Hi there, welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for being a part of this family. I love you all so much. I have a prophetic word for you. God says you love them so much. You love him so much. You love her so much. But there is a problem. You love them so much. But there is a problem. This word is coming from the book of Judges chapter 16. We see the story of Samson and Delilah. The Bible tells us how much Samson was in love with Delilah. How much Samson loved Delilah. But we have no record of how much Delilah loved Samson. You know what was the consequence of love that was not reciprocal? Delilah could betray Samson without blinking. Delilah loved money more than she loved Samson. Delilah chose money more than Samson. Delilah chose her country. She chose to do her country a favor. She chose to do her people a favor. She chose to do her family a favor. More than so she valued her family, she valued her country, she valued money more than she valued Samson. Why? Because she, the love was not reciprocal. The love was not reciprocal. And whereas Samson was going ahead to give the deepest secrets of his life to her, out of love, because Samson didn't go out telling everyone, look at me, I'm a Nazarite, my hair should not be shaved. No, the reason why Samson told her is because Samson loved her so much. But the reason why she took that, that information and she did and she gave it to the enemy, the reason why she, she, she set him up, the reason why she got his hair cut is because she didn't value him, she did not love him, she did not treat him the same way that he treated her. She did not value him the same way that he valued her. She did not look at him the same way that he looked at her. So she could betray him without blinking. Now the prophetic word says you love this person so much. But there is a problem. The problem is that the love is not reciprocal. And when the love is not reciprocal, they are with you for the meantime. They are with you while trusting to get someone they truly love. They are with you while because they need because they need something, because they need financial help, because they need they, they need help in, in, in maybe their project, they need support. Of some kind. The moment they see someone that they truly love. They are going to leave you for them. The moment they see someone that they are indeed in love with. They are going to leave you for them. So it is dangerous. The moment you realize that you are the one who loves someone. The moment you realize. That you are the, the one who is madly in love. And the other person doesn't really care. It's a danger sign. It's a danger sign. The moment you realize that you do everything for them, but they cannot lift a finger for you, it's a danger sign. That's a red flag. The moment you realize that you can go an extra mile for them, that you can stretch yourself just to make them happy, but they cannot lift a finger for you. It's a danger sign. The moment you realize that they are with you, not because they really love you, but because there is something that they need from you. There is something they want to get from you. And you realize that they can replace you anytime, any day. That is a danger sign. You love them so much, but there is a danger sign. And the danger sign is that that love is not reciprocated. You love them so much, but there is a danger sign. The danger sign is that that love is not reciprocated. That love is not balanced. That love is not the same on the other side. They can walk out on you at any point in time. Because they don't value you. They only value what they can get out of you. You are just there for their financial provision, for their sexual 
to, to, you are just there to satisfy their financial needs, to satisfy their sexual needs, to satisfy their emotional needs. You are just there because at, as, at this moment in time, they are going through difficult times and they need a shoulder to cry on. So you are just their trash where they dump all the dead and you are just where they drain everything out of you. That is a danger sign. That is a red flag. You've got to be careful. If you are not certain, if you are not certain that indeed they love you beyond doubt, then that might not be a relationship that is leading to a kingdom marriage. If at every slightest opportunity they want to leave you, if at every slightest opportunity they, 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 they get anyone come towards them. They consider leaving you. If you see them behaving funny and you realize that it's because someone has been making an entrance or making approaches at them. And they instantly start acting funny towards you. They consider cheating or they are cheating on you. Then you've got to step back and evaluate and make sure you read the red flags well. So that you don't end up in the wrong setup. So that you can deliver yourself from it when you still have the opportunity to. Hallelujah. God bless you. Shalom.